This portion of Dream Car Garage is brought to you by XV Motorsports, engineering modern supercars from classic muscle cars. We really want these cars to handle like modern cars or modern high performance vehicles. So um, we're doing two levels of suspensions. One will be more or less an optimization of the original suspension components. And the second is a complete clean sheet of paper redesign of the suspension from front and back, eliminating the torsion bars up front, going to a double A arm with coilovers, and then a multi-link rear suspension, probably with a pan art bar. We designed and built all the front suspension out of high strength 6061 T6 aluminum tubing quarter wall. We used a rack and pinion steering system to give good road feel and feedback from the tires. We've got a coilover system, dynamic dampers developed with Multimatic that are going to be specially valved on the four post rig. We've got a cast aluminum lower control arm, a fabricated aluminum upper control arm, an aluminum upright with a nice heavy duty bearing assembly sealed for life. And then we worked with Steve Ruiz from StopTech to develop a custom six piston front caliper with differential bore sizes for pad wear. We use six bolts to attach it to the bottom of the subframe. We insert tubes into the subframe of the car and weld them in so that as the bolts are tightened to locate the new front subframe, that it doesn't collapse the original frame rail. Well, on the level two car components, um, the, it's all designed around using the modern tire, which back in the day when these cars were first built with the, what we're doing, the level one suspension, um, the tires were very different in characteristics to a modern low profile high performance tire. So the suspension geometry and the kinematics, the way the suspension reacts to bumps, was very much geared around working with the older fashioned tires. <clears throat> and it's not necessarily optimized for a modern high performance tire, which behaves very differently to the older tires. So with the level two, we've gone, brought things up to date and the suspension geometry, kinematics more in line with most of the modern suspension on sports cars, which is optimized around a, a new radial high performance tire. In order to install the tubular K member in the front end of the Mopar E and B bodies, we had to develop a couple of other components. This is the upper mount assembly, which fits in the inner apron and allows us to attach the upper control arm directly to these blocks. On the stock Mopar steering column, there's only a nylon insert in the bottom of the column to locate the steering shaft, not nearly durable enough for rack and pinion steering. So we put an insert in with a needle roller bearing. That supports the steering shaft with the billet U-joints. One last detail you're wondering about anti-roll bars. Well, there they are, tubular anti-roll bars, billet aluminum links, really nice stuff, both front and rear. On the rear suspension, the three-link design meant we had to have lower trailing arms and an upper third link. The lower trailing arms were designed to be cut from 6061 T6 billet aluminum, and they were manufactured on CNC mills. We've got a wide version for eight, 900 horsepower drag cars and a narrow version for street and track cars. The third link has urethane bushings in it to allow the rear end to pivot while it's cornering without loading up the suspension. It's all held in place with a pan hard bar, which is also adjustable for raising and lowering the ride height. Coilovers complete the rear suspension assembly and are adjustable for both ride height and for damping.